just so lovely fish here. Wow, wow, wow. Lovely fish. Come on, come here. Oh. Oops. See that? These are lovely fish. The other one here. Oh, oh these are lovely fish. Today is a special day for me because uh, I am going to honor two brothers, Michael and Mark, for their effort to breed ornamental fishes so that they are going to continue on their studies. According to these uh, brothers, they really try to graduate in college out of breeding ornamental fishes and today we are going to go there but we will drop somewhere grocery store so that we can buy some presents for them and uh, those of you who are watching this video uh, there are many alternatives where we can pursue life despite of poverty despite of difficulties it's not a hindrance to our success So we have here some groceries for the family. We'll honor that family and uh, hope they will happy with this presence just a little presence for them so we are entering now into their small village here and if you can see the road is just very slim and let's go inside here
Hello guys, this is my friend Michael and we're here at his fish farm here. And these are backyard breeding and I'd like to introduce to you my friend. He's a college graduate and been in the school successfully out of breeding this ornamental fish. So we will buy some fish here and you will see here the bigger fish. Hmm? These are goldfish. Our breeder, breeder fish here. Pregnant. It's a pregnant fish. During breeding season, they will prepare a box with a clean water and this will be put in a clean box and during dawn they will spawn the eggs so they have here so many fingerlings of that here look at this hmm. wow look at this one Just so lovely fish here. They are draining the water so that we can get the the fingerlings of the crown pearl. We believe that there are at least two hundred here. And this watch as we are going to drain this water and let us see what we can get here. So these are the breeding of mollies and you can see there are nets they placed a net there so that every time the, the mollies will deliver babies the babies will just come out they will not be eaten by other bigger fishes so mud pan really is good for the fish as you can see here they have mud pans and they will throw the fingerlings here the goldfish even the kois and it will grow so fast so rapidly so if you have mud pan you can also breed this kind of uh, fish they also have guppies here they have mollies they have pearl scale and they have oranda black moon and several varieties of goldfish so they're getting now the fingerlings of the crown goldfish. I'm buying this because I wanted also to help these guys in this uh, business and they've been my partners. So every time that they have grow out, so I will just come over and uh, buy their fishes. These are crown pearl scale and as you can see here, they are so active and alive. These fishes one just so lovely they have crowns here they have big tummy So they've been breeding these ornamental fishes here for 15 years 
and they said it helped them in their finances it helped them in their schooling uh, payment of tuition fees and allowances in schools and other miscellaneous expenses are shouldered out of the income of breeding this ornamental fishes here There are about uh, 100 pieces here of ground pearl scale and we are loading now in inside the plastic and we have here oxygen for this fishes not to become stressed inside the plastic bag and we will display now this at the pet store but I'd like to honor these guys because these guys really are making things possible in spite of um, difficulties in life they were able to find ways to earn a living out of breeding these ornamental fishes One more. So these local breeders are earning an income. Those pet shop owners will prefer local products of local breeders. Sometimes the freight will even be much higher than the actual cost of the fishes. That is why pet shop owners will prefer to buy fishes from the local breeders instead of buying it abroad or buying it from other places like the capital city like Manila here in the Philippines so this contains 20 20 20 all in all that's 80 and there are some there so these are the freebies Yes, I have some extra. And thank you, Michael. And uh, we'll also give some presents to you. And we'll get some groceries here. Wait. So we're giving this to Michael in honor of the good works that he has done and also the brother here so we're giving this presents to them this is also part of our income in YouTube and we would like to share the blessings to other people especially those people who can inspire us the people that can give us lessons in life you know I, I honor these guys because they really find ways to earn a living they really make ways on how to make their way to school and be able to graduate this is a, an HRM graduate and this is graduate in agriculture and HRM graduate and uh, they said that breeding these ornamental fishes 
really helped them a lot. Hello everyone, thank you to Mr. Dexter. Please visit her, his YouTube channel, Dexter World, for more videos. Uh, I'm Mark Jan. I'm the brother of Michael Santos. Please subscribe in uh, Dexter's World. And thank you. Okay. Thank you. That's pure and true. You're the one that I So thank you guys for watching and I hope you will like and share our videos. You will subscribe because as much as possible we are uploading videos that would somehow encourage everyone to make this life successful and poverty is not a hindrance for our success.